I would show you how I've been creating distressed um, textures on my t-shirt designs using photos in channels. Um, I guess I'll run through the channels real quick. Basically an alpha channel is a place where I can uh, hold a selection, save it, and call it up anytime I need. It's kind of like a quick mask except it's there all the time. So basically um, in my channels I like to have selected areas as my option and then when I draw in here anything that is black will be a selection and everything that is gray will basically be feathered as a selection. So I can uh, go to my main image load this channel as a selection on my Mac it's command click on the channel and when I fill it it basically fills it the same way it looked in the channel so with that said I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I create these distress textures I have this design everything's flattened normally I would have this on a bunch of different layers as I'm working but it's easier for this demo if I just have it all on one layer so I'm gonna take something like this wood grain texture I'm gonna select it and copy it and then I will paste it into my alpha channel and once I'm here I'm gonna resize it so that it covers the whole thing and then I'm going to go to Image Adjustment Levels. And remember, with everything that is black being a selection, I don't want all these shades of gray. So I'll play with these sliders until I have something that looks suitable. You know, with the sliders, you can get more or less um, going in there. And then once I have it, if I zoom in, you can see this is all basically just a mess of uh, anti-aliasing and stuff. So what I'll do from there is go to uh, Image Adjustments Threshold. Now what that's going to do is turn these all into nice, clean pixels, all one color. So then when I go back to my background layer... What I'll do here is I'll open another layer on top of it and load my channel, select my background color, and I can either fill the whole thing in or I can go ahead and take uh, my airbrush and just kind of brush around in certain areas and that way there's I can get a little variation going. Then from there I can either say this is good or I can move on and maybe add a little bit more to it. So what I'll do is I'll take a second texture like this rusted steel, make a new channel, paste it in there. Now since this one is uh, landscape, I will rotate it and of course enlarge it. And again, image adjustment levels, which is command L for me. Adjust this a little bit until it's just the way that I want it. Adjustments threshold. And then I can work on the same uh, distress layer that I was working on before. Load that and start painting in there to get little variation so it's not all just one thing or I can fill it if I like to and if I fill it since everything is um, well if I filled both since everything I ran that um, threshold on I wouldn't have to do anything further but from here if I brush it in since there's different shades and stuff like that I would have to create halftones for it um, if you have a technique for making halftones you can use whatever technique you like but basically 
once I have this, it's on its own layer. I know some people like to make masking uh, channel layer masks. And some people like to just go in there and subtract it from the art. But I feel like if it's on a layer, I'm uh, always in good shape because I don't have to really worry about changing anything in my art. I can also load this as a, as a selection and save it as a channel for later too. Um, whichever way you like. But basically you can take any kind of photo um, wood, grain, rusted metal, rock, concrete, anything natural and play around with it and you can get some pretty interesting effects and I kind of like using this method a lot better than I like uh, going in there with the sort of grunge brush as they say you know um, so yeah that's pretty much it it's another useful way to use channels in your designs uh, thanks for watching hopefully I'll be making some more videos soon